guys and Merry Christmas to you. Um, not Christmas yet, but it will be soon. It seems to fly by. I haven't counted because obviously I'm uh, no longer a kid, sadly, so I'm not as excited as I used to be, but my kids are. Um, I think it's two weeks ago or something like that. And um, I'm, I'm showing you something Rebel related. That's Rebel Terminator. And that is my uh, number six of 350 exclusive Rebel Terminator review. Wee! Um, don't come along very often because obviously I only get maybe one or two a year, three if I'm lucky, but with the delays on everything, um, they never go to plan. But this one has gone to plan. I'm really surprised it's actually come out on the due date. And I was so expecting this around about January, February time. And, uh, and they've managed to get it out for everyone who's ordered one uh, before Christmas. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm very impressed. Um, I don't know if some people get those in a month's time or they all get them out and they ship them all out now. But um, Sideshow used to get them out. They used to get shipped to Sideshow's factory and then sent out. But now um, they're doing it direct from the factories, which um, going by my... Um, information is Hong Kong anyway no crap um, let's go over the um, the review um, some some well, shall I say a few little negatives not too bad though I have to say especially the chest sleeve part um, and a lot of pluses as well um, so here we go this is her this is uh, the uh, normal version that you would get which by the way it's much better I prefer it than the exclusive version anyway and um, this is how I'll have mine displayed um, and obviously um, with my Terminator T600 and my two bus 800 and TX and I've fitted them so there's actually room for it to sit in between can't see it from this camera view but uh, there is actually quite a bit of room so um, that's gonna go there so here we go here's the um, as everyone says Natalie Portman Kira Knightley look-alike uh, I don't think she looks like either especially now I've got her in person um, and it wasn't as bad as I thought I thought it's looking at some of the pictures they posted on the site that she's got a really young girly round face look to her but she hasn't she's actually got the uh, stronger looks and jaw like she did in the original pictures uh, so I've zoomed right in there we go sexy lady uh, with the uh, torn off eye on one side revealing the robot lots of people said uh, wish it had the lit up eye well so do I to be honest um, but um, Sideshow went a little cheap on that. I suppose it would have cost more, but um, I would have preferved the eye, the electronic eye. Um, so it's not that you would have it switched on hardly at all, but it's nice to have it, isn't it? Um, so all they've done is go with the painted eye and the metal look to it. Um, so she's got the shaven head and the windswept look here on the uh, right hand side, which is more the female look. And you look on her on this side, and she's more the, uh, the shaven head, the dude look. Uh, so she's a bit of both. <laughs> you prefer what you prefer. Um, so if we start off at the base, now the base isn't huge. Um, uh, what I mean by huge is when I had the Red Sonya, it's actually got a gigantic base with so much detail on it. Uh, this one isn't massive. Uh, and just about covers a leg area and a little bit in the front. Um, and uh, it's your typical Terminator boring sort of... Um, design you know a bit of broken rocks and let's stick a couple of um, t800 heads on there um, so that's what they've done uh, sadly we, we knew that when we bought it and obviously we don't go by the base but it's nice to have a better base um, and the feel of it it is polystone um, the only bits I believe are plastic actually I'm not too sure if they are which is pretty tough I think they are polystone too um, the heads, three heads on there. The reason I say that they are because there's another bit I'm going to show you in a minute which isn't made out of polystone on there. So if you look at the base, turn it around, it's, it's your usual stuff. It's just rocks. Exciting. Um, <laughs> so there you go, and it's on a tilt. At least if they've done it on a tilt, at least, blimey. And done something with it. Uh, so if we move up, what I did notice when I uh, got it is there's a lot of pieces that stick out on this item um, which I really like um, you've got the knife that sticks out the the bootstraps are all flailing out on the sides um, to the uh, left um, the uh, belt buckles and straps as well as the guns the um, grenades and also right on the top of the jacket you see these little bits sticking out there as well as on the broken side of a jacket so that's nice that they got these sort of detail that come out in the 3d look rather than flat dead against 
the actual item itself. Um, what I did like most about it, I love the jeans. I love I love this um these boots and the torn strapped um, trousers. This is obviously all one thing that's painted on with a slight definition in depth. Um, and if I whiz it around, you can see a booty. Um, it's exactly the same sort of thing around there. More armor. She's covered in armor. She's got ammo and everything galore. Now, I want to say that there's a minus point on this. It's one minus point. But it's one of the minus points that you can't tell unless I told you, um, thankfully, from looking at it visually. And that is the right hand, which is detachable. That one's one of the pieces that um, you have to fit on yourself. It's completely made out of plastic, sadly. The whole thing, that includes the head itself, which is why I was looking at them thinking, are they plastic too, and they're not. I don't think they are. Uh, but all of this, sadly, is gone. Sadly, the days of a metal chrome parts and terminators like um, the T800 bus there which is more solid and fills with a metal look and the chrome um, and they've just gone to the um, spray painted uh, silver look which is a shame really it is a shame uh, but it's well detailed I mean the actual cords coming out of the terminator's head uh, there's quite a few of them coming out and if I can zoom right in you can see the detail on on there. If you got the premium forward T800, you'll know all about it anyway. Um, I'm talking about the one that came out not that long ago. Was it four or five months ago? The boogie woogie one, as I like to call it by the post. Um, one bit that always fooled me until it just came out was um, this this top. I thought it was actually a fabric top. I didn't know it's actually um, all part of the polystone sculpted uh, body area. Uh, because it looks so real and um, it, the, the colours done to it because it's not perfectly white and the ripples and the holes make it look really good which is why the seam bit of it I always thought originally at first when they said you got the seam we well, just pull up the, the bit of cloth on the top and it covers it up but um, obviously it's not the case and it's not like that uh, but I'm going to go on to that bit in a moment and now let's go on to the, this um, famous um, chest piece now uh, you can see it slightly uh, if we can zoom right in from here it's perfectly fine you can't see it uh, from a normal view which is where mine's going to be it's sort of middle you're not going to see it either and from this angle you can't see it either now you have to dip right down to see where the seam is and if I zoom in whoop, then you can just about see it but to be honest it's really not that bad it's not that bad at all. I thought it was going to be a lot, lot worse uh, because there is a slight lip on the um, fabric, fabric, the slope, the, uh, the the piece of the chest, which lips over a bit, which covers it a bit. So you don't see it that badly. Plus, that bit covers that side. But funny enough, that side uh, is the best connection of the um, the chest to the um, the rest of the body, and you you can never see it anyway. It's more dead in the middle there but it's difficult to see it's not that bad so it's not going to ruin don't let it put you off if you're not sure about it because of that bit it's really not that bad at all thankfully i'm really happy about that because that bit was a slight worry uh plasma guns um do they look good or not um i think they could have been done better to be honest uh, i really do uh, that's my opinion uh for instance uh, they're done in this matte sort of silver finish both of them because they're identical guns um, there are slight differences in the colouring you can see from the front to the back they could have at least gave it an enamel paint look artists will be able to just run over that and make it give it a shiny look to it that's what it really really needed and maybe some more detail that's my letdown that's my biggest letdown is the two plasma cannons um, that's the one bit that I'm disappointed with. I thought it was going to be either the metal arm or the chest, and it was neither. It's actually the two guns itself. So that's a shame. Um, other bits, uh, you got. She's got another handgun in there, as you can see uh, in a holster. There's, I think, a telescopic lens in that piece there. Then it, it, again, there's more pouches with I don't know what going around on a belt there plain on the back of the bill and um, obviously as I showed you earlier the, um, the, the single grenade she's got there as well um, the jacket 
jacket looks good. I mean, it's not going to be leather, but it's actually uh, quite good, especially on this side because you can see some of the ripples that you would see on a leather jacket. Um, it's only on that bit I can roughly see it, but uh, it's done nicely. You see the zips and the little zip tags and stuff on there too. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm trying to check on this piece here. Can you see that? I think it's meant to be like that, like an overlapping piece that goes over the sleeve. Because if it isn't, it looks like a bad join. But um, I don't believe it is. I think it's meant to be an overlapping piece. Um, it better be. Let someone else... Uh, yeah, I think it is. Because if you see it from normal view, it's meant to overlap. So it doesn't look that bad. But if you turn it right... Yeah... Yeah, it is. I'm being too picky there. It doesn't look like it's meant to be a join. It's meant to be like a join in the jacket. Thankfully, they covered it up by doing that to it. Um, so overall, everything is a matte finish. There's no shine on anything. So the metallic -y, uh, robot parts, there's no shine. Uh, there's no shine on the boots, no shine on the guns, no shine on the Terminator heads or anything like that. It's all, it's all done in a matte finish. Um, the colours remind me very much on the skin of what Red Sonja is. Thankfully, there's not too much in terms of skin tone colours that are on display on this piece. Um, what I mean is is the uh, the Red Sonja here, which didn't turn out as bad as everyone said it was going to be when they saw them original pictures. Um, and she's got makeup on her eyes too. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out heads, and you can have a look at the other head and see what you think. Right, now I'm um, back and uh, here we go again, uh, now, now I've uh, changed the head and what I've noticed because this is the first time I put this head in it, the seam on the neck now um, is 100% flawless, uh, there's actually no sign of nothing at all on the chest on this one, it's even better than the other version, um, which amazes me. Don't have to worry about it at all if you want this one, it looks absolutely perfect, maybe everyone's it's slightly different, I don't know, um, but overall I'm very happy with the, the, the head that I'm going to have on the other one, the, the head to the chest joint on this one is absolutely, um, probably about 98% perfect, so um, here we go, um, so that's what she looks like on this one, um, the, the skull of the face is exactly the same, it's not like one's slightly different, slightly round or slightly longer, she looks exactly the same, uh, and if you can catch it, the eyes, because you've always got this problem with googly eyes, uh, is it googly? Maybe one of them is looking up a little lefter than the other one, so maybe it is, I'm not sure, I don't know. I'm going to catch them, I'm not too sure. I think it's alright, I think it's alright, but as I said before, this is this head is just going back in the box. I'm, I'm not one of these people that, when I have exclusives and I have two versions or something, I like to keep swapping them around. I don't, I just have the one I like, whatever it is, whether it's a bit of weapon or or a head or something else and I just leave it and that's exactly what I'm having, I'm having the robot head with it and that will be done with it. Uh, have I waffled enough, have I um, sort of um, covered everything that you wanted to know? If there's something that I haven't covered and you want to know, if you've got one on order or got one or you've got a concern, um, just message me and I'll, I'll reply back to you and I'll tell you what I think um, or give you an answer to it um, and that will be done on that. Again. These bullets would have been nice if they were shiny, wouldn't they? Rather than the matte look. I mean, they're Karai, but again, the shiny thing is not there. Getting an enamel clear paint with a little steady hand and a tiptoe brush, I think you could do it yourself, but um, I'm not skilled enough to want to play around with stuff like that. But um, there we go. Now, I'll quickly show what it looks like in my cabinet, and uh, that'll be the end of it. That'll be done. Okay, and there she is. She's sitting in there all cosy. Uh, I might have to play around with these. I'm not too sure if I want the statue at the back and the two busts right near the front instead. Or not at all because it looks a little crowded. I'm not too sure yet. Um, that's something I'll have to fiddle around with. It's all tight in there, but um, we'll have to see. I mean, it's because I want to keep all the Terminator stuff actually all together. Uh, and that's the reason why I've done it. But um, again, let me know what you think. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for dropping over, um, give me the thumbs up if you want, or the down, whatever, <laughs> and um, I'll speak to you um, in the new year, I'll do a video early in the new year. You take it all easy guys, um, and the next collectible I'll have will be the Boba Fett 1 to 1 Sideshow Bust. Excellent, alright guys, see you all later, Merry Christmas!